look out, Shane Holden almost loses it in front of the whole pack of cars. How fortunate. He hangs on to the number two position. Wow, it looked like he was going around. That's never good. There's the rental cars. Usually a guy wants to beat on the rental car, but maybe he'll warm it up a little bit. Oh boy, Cody Wall does a little pirouette on the front straightaway. The Jansen GM number 24, he gets it going again. Three for rent, not quite running up to par. Your leader is Andy Martins. Thank you, Travis. The leader heading out of turn three down the back, two down the back straightaway, but great racing for fourth, fifth, and sixth as they head down the back straightaway. Pete Dominic in the red and white, blue, red and blue. 2T, my goodness. Got a mouthful of marbles here tonight. Shane Holden looking to work a higher side of the racetrack, trying to close in. He's got 10 laps to catch the leader, but Sean Tunis at third in the blue 39. Catching him from the four spot appears to be Pete Dominic. Here come the leaders up on two rental race cars. Oh boy, what's going to happen here? The rental race cars are not only on the track, they're side by side. Oh no, they've straightened it out now. Oh boy, the leaders get by the first rental car. Let's see if they're that fortunate on the back straightaway. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty close. Shane Holden is reeled in the 55 of Andy Martins due to lo slower traffic. But Martins is doing a beautiful job up front and is not giving Holden a whole lot of room. Another lap car, they come up on another lap car. Andy Martins is the first guy to make the move around it. And the race drivers will tell you when you're coming up on lap traffic, it's far better to be the second guy in line than it is the first. The first guy's got to make the first move. Not always the easiest. Holden now goes to the bottom of the racetrack in the blue 11 SR, a junior, coming out of turn four down past the flag man now. Here they come up on a rental race car again. They're going to think they're like picket fence pickets. Oh, my goodness. The guy in that three for rent probably thought he was going pretty fast, too. What a race down the back straightaway heading into turn number three. Martins in the green 55 is your leader, but Shane Holden all over him like white on rice as they come down the front chute. Holden now trying the outside as they come through three and four. He's tried the inside on the leader a few times and that didn't work but Holden's doing a great job of trying to find a way around and it looks like he's going to have a little bit better success on the high side than he did on the bottom. Uh-oh, Bill Maruka loops the 80 car. He gets it going. Sean Holden running the higher, Shane Holden running the higher line in the 11 junior. As they come to the white flag, they're going to come up on lap traffic again. Will the lap traffic play a part this time? 
Your leader on the back straightaway is the 55 of Andy Martins. In hot pursuit, it's Shane Holden. And I think, oh, ho, 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 ho. talk about the danger zone. Look out. And Holden bounces it off the front straightaway wall. Checkered flag flies. What a great race Andy Martins and Shane Holden put on for us here tonight. Great racing. Andy Martins started on the front row and Shane Holden started alongside of him. And boy, they raced their hearts out here tonight, put on a great show for us. Our congratulations go out to Andy Martins in the Sun Valley RV number 55. Finishing second, Shane Holden. Third in the two would be Pete Dominic unofficially. Fourth, the 39 of Sean Tunis. And rounding out the top five officially, the 08 of Barry Hickst. So that is our street stock main event. We'll get the street stocks top five need to cross the scale and